What is up you guys? Welcome back to another video. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you guys click that subscribe button. And if you guys wanna follow the Instagram, I'm also going to drop that right below. Today, we're out goose hunting. We're doing the first evening hunt of the year. We have Colin behind the camera. What up? All right, you can't see him, but you don't want to because he looks greasy. Okay. What up? I feel bad for them. Colin was nice enough to come out and film for me this evening. This video is going to be a little bit different. We're trying to shoot a goose with a bow today. Me and John scouted this field two days ago and there was about 50 or 60 geese on this side of the road in this field. We looked at it last night and there was 60 geese on the other side of the road and nothing that we could see in this field. But me and Colin decided why not, we might as well try it. Me and Colin are gonna set an A-frame up right on this weed line right here. We're gonna try to stay in the shade and out of that sun because it is freaking hot. So we're gonna set the A-frame up in here. I think we're only gonna run like four dozen decoys. We're gonna try to put the decoys a little bit closer to the weed line to us than we would if we were shotgun hunting. We're gonna get the A-frame set up, stubbled in, and then we'll set decoys up and get back to you guys once we start setting the spread. And if we have two different angles of... Okay, well, we just got the spread set up. The A-frame is looking great. We got that thing all stubbled in. I think we put like two and a half, three dozen dive bombs out. We're gonna run a little bit smaller spread. The blind is about 15 yards from the closest decoys, but like 20 yards to the closest the birds would be landing. Hopefully we can pull a goose in that close. I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna run for arrows. So I got a pile of flu flus here. And then these are the Magnus Bullhead Bird Tips. Some killers there. We also have some broadheads with us that I might throw on uh, some normal arrows, just some normal carbon arrows, and maybe try to uh, take a body shot. We're gonna take a couple practice shots, make sure everything's good to go, and then we're gonna pull the target in, and we're gonna get ready and wait for some geese. Little rundown on the bow. New Matthews V3, it is the 27 inch. I went with the short riser height. They make a 27 inch, and I believe they make a 31 inch. The sight I'm running, it's actually a Schaefer's sight. It's just a traditional four pin. What is cool about this sight, you can literally grab this sight right here, pull it down, sights off. Now I can pull my bow back, shoot instinctive for flying birds. Now when I put this sight back on, everything is bolted the exact same way. Snap it up just like that and my pins are all sighted in exactly the same as before I snapped that sight off. Okay, well, this is not going exactly as we planned, but that is goose hunting. So these birds short stopped us. The first flock of birds landed 500 four or 500 yards from the spread. Um, we kind of crept over the hill, looked at them, and every other flock, unfortunately, is coming from the north. That's where they have been sitting all day, and they're landing right with those. So they don't even have time to see our spread, unfortunately, because of the hill right here. So it's getting kind of late in the evening. It's like 7.40 right now. We don't have too much time left, and we don't know how many more geese are going to come. So we're going to walk to the tree line, and we're going to kind of sneak down there, see if we can show you guys the geese and see if any more come in because we've kind of accepted the fact that they're probably not going to make their way past those geese with them sitting there to us so we might as well try to get some footage of those and then we'll probably just camp out in the weeds see if those geese will get close enough uh, to take a decent shot at them and uh, either way we got to scare them out of there if we want to shoot anything or maybe we can get a shot so we're gonna start walking over there and hopefully we can get a shot at these geese Yards from these keys. The 
the closest we're going to get is if we get dead even with them from the wood line. And that's about another 20 yards in front of us. So we're going to try to close in this last 20 yards. And I think I'm going to take a shot. It should be about 40 yard shot. 40, 45. But looks are deceiving. And they could be further than that. But stay tuned. And you're going to see us take a shot at these. Alright, these geese are probably like 70 yards. They're walking away from us. I'm pretty sure a bunch of geese just landed in our decoys. There's two more flocks that got off the refuge, and here we are sneaking. So I'm going to end this, and I'm going to shoot a goose at 80 yards right now. All right, well, Colin found my arrow and I had him stand here. 89 yards, that was the first goose that I've shot at this year. And there are gonna be more to come. It's getting pretty late in the evening. These geese might have landed in our spread. We might have one more chance here. So we're gonna go to this wood line over here on the other side by our A-frame. And if those geese are over there, we're gonna try to sneak one more time. There's still a chance, stay tuned. We're gonna kill a goose with the bow. This one right here, the single. <laughs> Second shot of the evening. Me and Colin were walking back from those geese we tried to sneak on. And I think it was like a six pack, way in the distance. They hooked at the very north side of the field, came in. Not exactly where we wanted them. Um, it was a little bit further of a shot than I thought. I'm gonna walk it off right now, but I put my 40 yard pin on them uh, just right above one and it was still a little low. So I'm guessing it was like 50 yard shot, but I was just under it. It was still a good night. We got to shoot at a couple geese, really close shots and it's a lot of fun. Well, honestly, it was a great evening. We both had a lot of fun and it was a lot different than using guns. It was cool to get out here. That's the first time we have shot at geese with a bow. Um, we did a little bit of pigeon hunting with the bow. If you guys wanna watch that, that is also on my channel. This is definitely just the start of it. You guys are going to see more hunting videos with the bow, more waterfowl hunting videos with the bow. This was just kind of a warm up. We were trying to see if we could shoot some off the ground in the spread. If you guys are interested in seeing some geese, maybe even ducks and other birds, maybe upland birds, I don't know what we're gonna do with the bows, but we're gonna have the bows out this season. Make sure you guys 
click that subscribe button. And if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like it, drop a comment down below. Uh, that helps out a lot. You guys being active on the channel, hitting that subscribe button, liking the videos, commenting, that really helps out a lot. I do appreciate that very much. Also, if you guys wanna check out the merch that I don't have on right now because it's all dirty because I've been wearing it all week, that is going to be in the description of this video. I'll drop the link down there. And we will see you guys on the next video.